What's up guys, welcome back to another video and uh, this video is going to be a UA challenge guys. In this video, uh, in the last video we saw how to do the screen, right? Uh, this was a screen uh, by a designer called Stan Nevedomsky and uh, in his profile I saw that he had done a, lot, a few more uh, minimal design uh, screens, screens as well. So in this video let's go ahead and try to recreate this particular screen, okay. This particular screen is nothing but a social network app profile page, okay. And uh, this is another uh, minimal design where he has used uh, a very less number of colors and he has presented what he has tried to convey in a neat, ma neat manner, right? So uh, yeah, let's try to replicate this design using Flutter. So first of all, let me do this part, this part and this part, okay. Uh, scaffold, I'll give a background color, colors dot white. And uh, inside this, I'll have a body list view, uh, children, I have a column, children, and uh, a cross axis alignment. Sorry, cross axis alignment cross axis alignment dot start so that everything uh, starts from here okay and uh, widget would be uh, first i'll have a padding padding edge insets dot only uh, uh, some left 20.0 uh, right 20.0 uh, top some 20.0 fine and uh, child would be container uh, container inside this height would be some 50.0 width would be some 50.0 and uh, decoration would be box decoration box decoration box decoration inside this will have a border radius border radius dot circular uh, some 25.0 and after this uh, uh, image decoration image decoration image decoration image and say this what i'll have is image asset image assets sorry assets pick six dot jpeg i already have some pictures inside my assets directory as well as a font guys and i've ordered added references for all of these inside the pubspec.yaml file as well as you can see here so i'll just make use of one of those images here and uh, fit i'll give box fit dot cover fine uh, let's see how this looks on a mobile device right as you can see here we have a nice looking uh, profile image like we have in our design spec then we have a couple of lines of text that i'll uh, uh, create just now just three lines of text right this one this one and this one these three text blocks I'll create and then we'll move on to uh, these three stuff. So I'll just, you know, pause the recording here and resume from. All right, this is done. Let's see how this looks on our device. Fine. Now we have uh, this part as well, right? This part done as well. It's nothing fancy, guys. Simply text and uh, styling of the text using a font that I have uh, in my assets directory. That's it. Okay, so that's the reason why I didn't, you know, get into uh, detail about this. Now that I have done these three texts, then what I need to do is I need to have three columns, uh, probably inside a row so that they look, yeah, let's go ahead and do that rather than me talking about it. So after this padding, I'll have another padding, padding, uh, padding, edge insets, dot only left 20.2, and uh, right 20.2 and top 25.0 fine and uh, child would be some row uh, main axis alignment main axis alignment dot space between so that they look uh, you will see that uh, on the screen children uh, for that we need to have a column and inside this column, I'll have children. Uh, once again, cross axis alignment, 
cross axis alignment dot start cross axis alignment dot start and then say this widget I'll have uh, once again two lines of text one is a number and the other uh, colored number and the other one is a gray colored text okay this is fine as well right so let's save this and see how this looks on our device cool now you have that 1789 followers just like we have on our design spec we need uh, 236 following and uh, 990 likes as well so let's do follow the same exact procedure to bring in those two uh, components uh, into our screen as well fine now i have two more components to emulate what we have in our design spec let's see how they look on the screen they look awesome right now we have the top section of our design spec ready the next thing we need to do is these two uh, image uh, fields this these are nothing but horizontally scrollable list views right so uh, let's go ahead and create that We'll give some nice spacing here first of all after this column no after this padding uh, sized box height would be some 25.0 and uh, after this i'll have a container and inside this container i'll have a padding edge inset start only left some 10.0 uh, right some 10.0 and uh, height would be some 200.0 and uh, child would be list view this list view scroll direction we need to give it as axis short horizontal fine uh, then what are the children for this uh, children uh, I have a container once again container this will be having a height of some 200 and the width of some 200 as well or is it a square yeah it looks like a square 200 and uh, decoration would be box decoration and uh, inside this I'll simply do a border radius border radius dot circular some 10.2 radius is small right yeah small rounding off and uh, image would be decoration image and uh, mm, image asset image assets pick one dot jpg fine and uh, fit would be some box fit dot cover fine uh, now all we need to do is save this and see how this looks on our mobile device yeah it looks really good right now uh, we need just one more image like this so i'll simply copy and paste this entire container once again fine the only difference is I have given pick2.jpg here. Save this. And it looks awesome on our mobile device just, we, uh, just like we have in our design spec, right? And we can scroll this as well. So uh, now that we have done this, let's go ahead and uh, try to do these three uh, a smaller section of images, smaller list view of images. So for that, uh, we'll be following exactly the same method. The only difference would be the height uh, that was specified here. So what I'll do is I'll simply copy this entire thing. Copy this completely. After this, give a sized box. The sized box will have a height of 10 units. And uh, paste this. Uh, inside this, I'll have some 100 maybe and uh, here as well i'll give 100 and here as well i'll give 100 and uh, here i'll give 100 and here i'll give 100 fine uh, in here it will be three here it will be four 
and I'll add one more container that will have the third image. Wow, we get those nice uh, looking images uh, below here as well, right? So now we have done this entire image grid section as well. Let's go ahead and do these two buttons. These two buttons are simple buttons, guys. Uh, just uh, place them, place two containers, rounded containers, rounded containers inside inkwells in a row, and that's it. You'll get those buttons. So what I'll do is after this uh, container, uh, no, after this container, sorry. After this container, I'll add a sized box, maybe sized box. Uh, with to be some 10.2 okay uh, and uh, container would be some height would be 100.2 sorry height would be some 100.2 and uh, with to be some 100.2 once again and uh, no with should be 100 whereas height is somewhat less right this is only more this is less so I'll just give 40 here, 40, fine, uh, 40, 100, okay, and that needs to, it just need to be uh, rounded as well, right? So, uh, uh, decoration, as usual, once again, box decoration, box decoration, yeah, box decoration, uh, inside this border radius, border radi, ra what happened? border radius dot uh, circular 30.0 and uh, color colors dot gray dot with opacity opacity uh, point 0.2 fine and uh, yeah we just need a child now so after this box decoration I'll add a child center that entire thing that's going to be placed what was the thing that was oh back arrow that's it so this will have child child uh, icon icon start arrow back save this let's see how this looks on our mobile device okay it doesn't show up as, as at all why no, it doesn't show up at all. Probably we should have added this in a row, right? Yeah, now it shows up. As you can see here, we have a nice looking oval button that is uh, touching the previous list view. We need to see why. So why we should have given it as height. Anyway, uh, we have a nice looking uh, gray color oval shaped button now. So the next thing we'll do is uh, We'll go ahead and uh, add another button. Only this button will be black in color with the text arrow in the center and a little more. It will have a little more width. That's it. So there's nothing fancy about that as well. I'll add uh, another container. The only difference would be uh, it has follow at the center and the button is in black color. I'll save this. Let's see how this looks on a mobile device. Okay. Uh, since we are using a row, we can simply do main axis alignment, main axis alignment dot space evenly. Save this. Now those buttons should look fine as well. Cool. Now we have uh, recreated this entire design minimal profile what was it called social network app profile page right this is a clean looking cool minimal design uh, this looks really good on the mobile device guys uh, probably it's not that much uh, i mean i i'll be recording the screen separately on the mobile device and then uh, while editing i'll be overlaying the screen on top of the uh, screencast that i'm recording here so i don't uh, know how good this resolution is going to be uh, on the video but on the mobile device it looks really amazing and so yeah this is another minimal design this is pretty much simple compared to what we have accomplished in terms of design on this particular channel right so uh, you might wonder why i'm doing all these uh, simple simpleton stuff uh, right 
so but uh, minimal designs are always simple guys that's the entire concept of minimal design right so uh, a lot of people are asking me to do more uh, minimal looking clean designs and that's why i was uh, searching for such designs and uh, trying to replicate them with flutter these are simple in uh, concept simple in execution and you can easily create them uh, within a within an hour or something and then this can be also used effectively in all your applications so yeah that's the whole point of a minimal design right uh if you like this video kindly hit the like button guys if you really like what i'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell notification icon so that you receive an, a notification each and every time i upload a new video uh if you found this video helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye